um, life and for them to for her to actually start the uh, the women's spiritual network I think is much needed so I'm, I'm honored to be here to be for you today to be able to share on this network um, and I was trying to think you know it's simple little things that we can do to allow life and uh, allow love in our life so I wanted to start with the most basic thing that we can really start to do to allow love into our life and others so what I want you to do is I want you to turn to the person next to you. And I want you to give them a, the most beautiful smile that you got to offer them. <laughs> allowing love to flow through your eyes to them. And that smile. You should be able to the warmth. It should make you laugh. It should make you smile. Yes. Don't let, don't let this make you feel good. You up. Yeah. That's what it's about, uh, about allowing love into our life. So today, while I'm here, I want to speak to you a little bit about um, allowing love holistically. Allowing love holistically. What's important is you know, understanding what holistic well-being and holistic wellness is all about initially. So holistic well-being and wellness is about the body, the soul, and the spirit. So the body, we have to be whole there. Um, and then the soul is our mind, our emotions, and our will. And then spiritually, we have to elevate ourselves, our mindset, vertically to, in order to, for the kingdom. So I want to start and give you a little bit of uh, information about what you can do for your body first. Most diseases come from only three main areas, and that's toxicity, malnutrition, and stress. Malnutrition, toxicity, and stress. That's the main three areas. So when you go to the doctor and they give you a diagnosis, that's the three areas you ask yourself. Am I doing the, the, the detoxing that I need to do? Am I getting the appropriate amount of nu nutrients in? Am I alkalizing the body? Am I providing enough water in the system? And then where is your spiritual connection as well? Where is your will? So all of these things play a role. So today I want to talk to you just a little bit about each one of them. So with uh, the body, toxicity, toxicity, we are to clean our body out at least four times a year, for at least one month. Before we've been doing it, you know, five day detoxes, ten day detoxes, all of that, but you really need to do it longer than that. If you really think about it, you put things in your body every single day. The food that you eat has toxins in it. The air that you breathe has toxins in it. The, the makeup that we're using on our skin has toxins in it. The lotions that we use, the toothpaste, all of this has toxins in it. So you have to, this is your vessel. This is the spiritual vessel that gets you up into the spiritual realm. And I'm, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later because you have to clean, keep this clean. It is the connector. So you have to keep it clean. So you got to detox four times a year. And then the other point I want to make with detoxing right now is um, there's primary and secondary forms of detoxing. Primary forms of detoxes are oral remedies that we use. We got to clean out the colon. We got to clean out the liver. We got to clean out the uh, kidneys. We got to purify the blood. We got to see if you have any parasites. All of those things are important to an overall holistic detox. Not just one, one, one area of our system. You want to clean out the whole you. The other thing is, secondly, is the secondary detoxing. Secondary detoxing have to do with, uh, like, your colonics. You know, first we run to colonics first, but actually you don't want to run there. See, if you go secondary to the colonics, you get the herbs in your system. When you go to a colonic, it allows things to flow out of your system better. So colonics are a secondary form of detox. Detox foot baths are another form of detox. Air candling are another form of detox. Y'all familiar with some of these ways of detoxing? These are all ways to pull nutrient, I mean pull uh, toxins out of your body. Drinking enough water is a form that you that you can get things out of your body. That helps to release pu uh, impurities out of the organs, lubricate the organs and all of that. So detoxing is a main, main, main thing. That's part of the body. But when we talk about the mind, you got to detox the mind too because you got to be you want to, what you're looking for, what you want in your life, if you've been asking God for different things, you've been asking purpose, you've been asking for well-being, you've been asking for all these things, but you haven't quite figured out how to get it. It's through this what I'm talking to you about right now. The body, 
has to be whole. The soul. The soul is made of the mind, emotions, and the will. But the only thing I want to talk to you today about is the mind, because we don't have a whole lot of time to do this. If you want to know more about it, you have to go to my website under the teachings of a beautiful mind. You'll find out a little bit more about this. Well, the mind, the reason it's important is because it's creating the reality. Your mind is creating your reality, and so in order for you to accomplish and achieve what you're looking for in your life, you got to become a deliberate creator of your reality. If you're not a de deliberate creator of your reality, you could be going to and fro, not even accomplishing the things that you want to accomplish in your life. So what we want to do is we got to elevate the mindset. Because you want to flow down here in this fallen kingdom world. You want to flow down here this way horizontally, and you got to flow this way spiritually. So as we flow horizontally through the mind, and then we flow horizontally, I mean vertically through the mind, this is how you accomplish in the land and spiritually at the same time where you want to go. This is where you get the happiness and the joy and the peace and the harmony that you're looking for in your life. So with the mind, you got to become deliberate creators. You have see right now the mind that you're operating from is a mind that was developed by your environment when you were little by the teachers, by your parents, by all of these people you were developed. And right now you're using the same thing that you were developed with prior. That's old programming. That doesn't work for you anymore. It's not getting you where you want to go. So you got to reprogram. You got to detox the mind. You got to reprogram. So this is how you do it. If nothing else about this mind, I want you to get this because the mind is the vehicle. And so for horizontally, when you take this mind into your past, and you think about what you're frustrated about, what's been hindering you, the things that you have, you know, the, the, the things that you have to wish you could have done differently. And you bring that mind into this moment. And this is the only moment that we have in creation. This is the only moment that you're creating from. So you take this vehicle into your past and you're thinking about all them things that you regret. Bring it here, you are creating a future of more of what you don't want. When you take this vehicle, the mind, and you take it into your future, and you think about things that you, like the next job, the next pay, um, you know, things that the unknown, fear, and you bring it back into this moment, the only, the only moment that we have of creation, and you are creating a moment of more stress of what you don't want. This is the vehicle, and you got to use it like the vehicle to go laterally, and to climb vertically. And I'm going to show you what that looks like vertically in just a minute. But you have to get rid of the old programming. And how you do that is you have to become mindful. Mindful of self. You, we, we can tell everybody about themselves. We can tell our coworkers what they're doing, what they're not doing, what they should be doing better. In relationship, we can look at somebody else's relationship and see where it's falling apart. What they should do different. We always got opinions about what we see with someone else. But we don't know nothing about ourselves. This is discovery. This is where you gotta, this is the basics. Allowing love holistically. You gotta be able to um, discover yourself in this well-being. In this holistic approach to living. So the mind, deliberate creators. Um, creating your own reality, getting rid of old programming, being mindful of self, where you're maneuvering, what you're doing, how you're doing it, how you're, how you're going laterally, laterally. That's what you get, the questions. The more questions you ask, that's the seeking. Seek. You got to keep seeking, seeking. The more you seek, the more you walk horizontally. Okay? So that is the mind. Again, the, 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 the soul is the mind, the emotions, and the will. But today I just wanted to talk to you just a few minutes about the mind because that mind that you have inside of you is creating your reality right now. So if it's not creating or you're not creating the reality that you desire for your life, then you need to go recreate some other stuff. And you might need to remove some of the stuff that was this hindering you. Spirit. Spiritual. This is the side that this is the most important. This is the connection here so that you can soar this way. And I won't go into all of the, the, the history or the basics of it, but this is what I'm going to say. As far as spirit goes, there's Jacob's ladder in Genesis. There's Jacob's ladder. The angels descend and ascend heaven and earth. 
Jacob's 20, uh, Genesis 28, 10. Angels ascending and descending this ladder, this stairwell. This is how you go. It's through the mind again. Again, the vehicle is the mind. So when you take it laterally into the past and future, like I just told you, then you're creating. you got to take it vertically and then elevate it. This is ascension. So when you do this, this is how it looks. So first of all, uh, you got to isolate yourself. Because see, the, these, these, the teachings I'm going to share with you right now come from the teachings of a beautiful mind on how to elevate your mind and relieve some of your mindsets. We got so many set minds we can't accomplish the goals that we, we have or we're not allowing the love in our life that we, we, we deserve. How do we elevate our mind? This is how we do it. We're going to use the metaphor of the birds and we're going to use the butterfly. The birds. When you want to elevate vertically, you got the ego. The ego is knowledge and understanding. You got to get knowledge. Spirit gives you understanding. When you, when you start getting the knowledge that you need and Spirit gives you the understanding and you start applying that knowledge, applied knowledge, action, and start using wisdom with that knowledge and understanding that you have, then you'll start walking in the land with wisdom by that knowledge and understanding that you have from Spirit. As you walk in the land with wisdom, which is the, the owl level, so we go from eagle, knowledge, and understanding. The next level is your owl. That's wisdom and revelation. You get wisdom and walk in wisdom, God will give you revelation. From the revelation, you, there's a awakening that takes place. There's a dying as you get to know who you are. And then there's a awakening that takes place. So the next level is the raven. The raven represents the death and the rebirth. You must be born again. We're ascending now. I'm telling you how to walk laterally, and I'm telling you how to walk vertically. And you have to, you have to walk in both kingdoms at the same time. You gotta walk in this fallen kingdom, and you gotta walk in the God kingdom. And walk, we too often walk just horizontally. But now it's time to elevate ourselves and walk vertically. So there's the raven, death and rebirth. Death and rebirth. From the death and rebirth, you got to go to the, the dove. See, when you die and reborn, you, you, you're transformed. You're not even the same. Then the dove is able to descend on you after that and take you behind the veil. When you go behind the veil, you're going into the kingdom of God things. You're being able to see spiritual realm kingdom things behind the veil. The, only the spirit of God can take you behind there. And then there's another place. When you get back into behind the veil, there's the holiest of courts. That's where you get instruction directly from God. That's where he orders your steps. That's when he allows you to walk in authority, to walk in the land. But this is after lessons. This is after many tests. But see, we, we have to take the guesswork out because we're moving to and fro so much right now. We're not, we're not, we're, go, we're moving here, but we ain't elevating here. You gotta be able to do both of them at the same time to get the peace and the harmony and the, what you're looking for. Because if you operate at an eagle mindset, and you're asking for dove relationships, you can never have them. Because you got an eagle mindset that doesn't have enough knowledge to even get a get what you want at, at an owl or a dove level. Is this making sense? You got to be able to elevate up there. Because see, when, when you get to dove level, you asking for different. Your prayer line is different than when you're a when you're a uh, eagle. See, eagle, you might be out there asking for the car, and you might be out, out there asking for the house. But when you elevate to dove level, you asking for honesty, integrity. You asking to be be you. You asking for 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 God things. You're asking for spiritual things. You ain't asking for the same thing that you asking for laterally. I mean, uh, yeah, horizontally. You see the talk changes. You know people by their fruits, by their walk, by their language. That's how you want. We need to start identifying people. So, we got to elevate our mindset. We got to go there as one body. We got to go there as one body. Everything that you're asking for, you can have. Everything. 
but there's an ordering system to it. Because see, the things of God, this we're on the spiritual side. The things of God, He's a He's a God of ordering system. You see how the sun rises and sets every day. You see the rhythms and cycles of the seasons changing out here. Your life should be looking like that. If your life don't look like the seasons and rhythms and you don't understand self, then you're out of order. And we always say that everything's in divine order. And it is up there in the kingdom. But we're in a fallen kingdom. See, when sin hit the, lake, the, the earth, when sin hit, there was an instant separation. We live in the fallen kingdom. There's a God kingdom. you got to elevate to get there. If you don't elevate, you'll never be there, and you will always be searching and trying to get where you're going because you only know how to go this way. And you got to go higher. we got to go higher. So that's what it's about, about um, allowing love holistic through your body, the vessel. Because, see, when the dove descends on you, when the dove descends, this vessel's got to be clean. you got to have the fruits of the Holy Spirit. If you don't have that, the dove's not even going to descend on you got to have it. So holistically, the body has to be clean. The soul must be in order. And you've got to be aligned spiritually this way. So that's a little bit of allowing love holistically. If you want more detailed information and teachings on it, you have to go again to my website. Um, the teachings of a beautiful mind is what they're called. And I lay out everything. Everything. This is how you change your life. This is how you go beyond where you've been. This is what you've been looking for. This is what's changed my life and it continues to change many other people that I, that I do services and do retreats for. So come. You can come here. We're about community here. What, new year, we have new classes here. We have new things all the time for you. This is where you can come and meet God. So. Thank you for coming out today. Again, I, I appreciate uh, that the, the uh, Women's Spiritual Network is going where they're going. I'm excited to be uh, one of the people that's on their program, and I'm thankful to all the crew that they have working here, and it's been uh, a wonderful experience to be able to work with them. And so thank you again for coming. Love and peace.